looks like Locke oh, is going to be Uranus this right. time around. Okay, so pretty wow. standard overall. We got a sandbag up in the EXP for the side of Boomer Maze Goals. And honestly, this is playing very much towards their style. Lane control, right? They needed a support that helps with that mid lane, and they've got exactly that on top of the fact that they've got the Uranus. And we know where the damage is coming from. It's <laughs> clearly coming from Stitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a lot of belief, a lot of faith in his consistency. Yeah. You know, I think I, I like the Uranus because there's no legitimate understood the assignment they recognized the situation wasn't their favor lena is going to be first blood for the side of ap the purple buffs were taken away from him nico is going to have a very bad time in the mid game yeah, speaking of which i mean we we're looking at mid lane carbon might just get caught out here coming in the conceal committed final slash carbon gets the heart guard in him lena to the rescue this uranus ain't going anywhere blink holding this pixel brush Spotted by the actual echoes. Turtle getting beaten down. Burmese ghouls pushing forward. Flapped easy from the back, looking for an angle. Nico wants to get it. Retribution is oh. good. Nico scores it. And down goes Lena. That's a blazing duet considerably. Dealing a lot of damage early on. Blink goes down. Ogwin gets the kill. Ogwin still staying in the vicinity. Carbon goes. 3 0. Oh. Like the reset is weird, but now Burmese ghouls. Oh, they reset because they know that their lanes are in their favor. I mean, they found it. It may, might even get a pick. Blink. Oh, gets spotted. Gets bursted down. Super Marco gets the kill. And they're still going. Carbon keeping up. Playing footsies with three. In goes the old counties. He gets the Lord. This should be a retreat from the Burmese ghouls. And they get sent down into the ground. But not for long because Carbon's still alive. Oh, gets taken down. Stitch as well in the back line. Few get some. No happy. contest at all for the Retribution battle. AP Bren with a massive Lord Dance. I mean, the crazy part about it all is the fact that AP Bren gives so much Whoa. respect. Oh, he's fine, but oh wait. Got the Purify in. Big fight coming up. Final Slash puts Nico right under the ground. Taking a dirt nap while the rest of AP Bren destroy that inhibitor up top. They're moving along. Lord's still standing. I'm telling you, AP Bren are playing so respectful. I feel like in these types of situations with this kind of a lead, they start getting right up into your face. But against Burmese Ghouls, they're forcing out resources. They're starving them out. They're trying to burst down Stitch in the middle of their base. Oh, there's an onward. Carbon gets sent into the skies. Heart guard into him. Super Marco still barreling away. Blink. Looking for the pull, still does not have the old Flaptizi down! Torn apart memory, tearing him in half. Super Marco, very low, Carbon, still alive. A tenth of his health! Oh. oh, he goes! Phew! Takes him down! And there's only one way to go about this. They've been trying to put some damage on Carbon uh -oh. with the heart guard, and now they're forced to do it. Oh, in a defensive manner, Stitch gets the heart guard on him, and they're gonna burst him down! Stitch goes, the first casualty! Now Blink. Oh, Super Marco blasting him, point blank survives, but only for a second more as Super Marco still eventually gets his man. Nico in the back line trying to take down Flap Teasy, gets him. Two for one, the trade so far. Burmese Ghouls back inside their own base. It's Lena and Carbon defending. I mean, when does this team stop, right? Carbon, he's gone. There's nothing he can do about this. So looking for the end. Oh no, the base is up next. That's a double kill for Marco. AP Bren welcome the Burmese Ghouls with a victory. Game one. Woo, what a game secure coming in from the side of AP Bren. Like initially it was a back and forth and then all of a sudden you feel the growing snowball. You feel the way that they are just smothering you each and every attempt that you make. I felt that they, the AP Bren were the snakes, were the pythons actually, where they just constricted. And out, so. Just again. Okay, so yeah, you're left you with Gord. Got oh. You got no choice. Mm. But there's a lot of jump. Well, there is a jump from Burmese Ghost. It's Lapu Lapu. If you count the. Yeah, this is, that's delayed. Very nice. Ah, this it's, is so annoying. It's a proactive <laughs> delay. Wow, the rotation coming from AP Bren. And Kyle is level 5 as well. Like, oh. this, they've set it up perfectly. <laughs> Here this. we go. Spacing them out, Carbon answering back. Few very oh. low, gets taken out by Carbon, and now Ogun can't even respond. The ghouls pull through. They're going to contest. Coming in with the pull, committing it on the Ogun, gets taken out. Turtle still standing. Watch Kyle TZ goes in. Nico still secures, and Nico gets out of there. That's a couple of wins. A big three minutes in for the ghouls. I love being at these internationals because now we are seeing the evil looking to let this rotation go. This is cool because the ghouls are learning as we're going. Oh wait, Stitch down bottom, not gonna survive long enough to get his ult off as Kyle Tizi pops him off 1v1. Still able to sustain himself. 
Flaptizi knows this hero a lot. Here we go. Second turtle already spawned five minutes in. Few throws out. Mystic Projectile. In comes the final slash. Carbon with the Bravest Fighter. Turtle on 10th of its health. Miko gets a retribution. Kyle Deasy half health coming in. Carbon with the flicker and the tail end of that big two-handed sword as the ghouls advance inside AP Brez jungle. The ghouls are looking great. Two to one. They say that though. There is the gold coin. Oh, Blink with the pull! In Kyle, he gets popped by Nico. <laughs> Talk about timing here. <laughs> Literally. Oh, yeah. There's the pull Speaking of by Nico. Speaking of initiative, you see that Kai Jabla stitch combo. Are they even concealed at this point? Uh oh. They're oh. rotating in. They find Few. Gets a divine judgment off camera. He gets popped by Stitch. Popping the Torn Farm memory carbon. Drawing a line between the Ghouls and AP Bren. Going for the bravest fighter early on. Flicker still in tow. Ogwen coming in with the full combo. And now the turtle take resumes. Oh, it's not going to turn into a no. lord just yet. We're already past the eight minute mark. And this is a turtle dance if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Rare sights. Kaltisi is a uh, level ahead of Nico. Oh, another bravest fighter. Flaptisi oh, finds the angle from the back. Bravest. Fighter in, oh. blazing the wet just enough to have the retribution, have a larger margin of error. AP Brent oh, steals. Wait, bot side, bot side, what's going on there? Oh, Carbon, 3v1, 4v1. Oh, he got ganked. He could not say anything to that. Now, Nico trying to repair the situation. Catches Flap, and now the fight breaks out entirely. Stitch takes out Few, Whoa. but Kyle Whoa. finds sweet revenge. And now Lena gets caught out. Flap TZ already spent his ult. There's a pull, not gonna happen in between the walls. AP Brent have initiative here. Two for one. Big timing here, this window for them to steal away the Lord. Gets reset as Kyle Teasy wails away. Pushing back Nico and Lena. Blink holding the river bush. What's gonna happen? He spots out Marco. Oh, he's the one who gets spots out this time around. And he gets on out of there. AP Brent, they want the Lord. They need it. Final slash by Flap Teasy. Puts him where he wants him. Carbon coming in with the bravest fighter. Kyle Teasy scores. And the fight continues. Super Marco with a blazing duet. And the Nether Realm from the Ghouls. Get AP Brand being proactive on the bottom side, but more importantly, the fact that Burmese schools are making the correct decisions. Three all big ultimates. All wait, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh, divine judgment on the flap, TZ, and he survives, but only for a second more as Stitch takes him down. And he's gonna be A-OK -okay for AP Brand. They even are slow pushing the bottom oh, lane. Oh, here we go. We were looking for it. Wait. The ghouls find oh, the conceal. Good. They this move. Could be good. They, Kyle. they move into the river bush. And Kyle Teasy, I don't know, knows. he knows. Oh, Blake oh. comes in. No one gets pulled. It's Marco. It's the perfect target. But there's no follow through as Blink X gets taken down. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was a good intent, but they could not do the plan. And now they have to recover or concede the Lord. AP Bren now, the ultimate opportunists, oh. take the Lord. And AP Bren was. More veteran team to kind of foresee that kind of uh -oh. play. Uh-oh, the gush coming in from Few. Flap flickering back. Stitch gets him. And here's another one we were looking for. Few in trouble. Gets down to about 8 HP. Gets the heal. Still playing with some range. As the rest of AP Bren collapse. Down goes Carbon. Lena and Nico retreat. Super Marco still wants his man. One bullet short. Be off. I wonder what Nico and Carbon are thinking. But yeah, no, here we go. Blink. Coming in, gets caught off oh, by Fuse Projectile. Fuse. Ogwin with a full on combo. And Carbon coming in with the bravest fighter. Netherrealm saving them already. Blink oh. with the pull, and Marco gets popped. Nico gets the kill. Carbon's still alive. It's a 4v5 situation as the ghouls come back to life. But they also have to come back to their base as AP Bren's minions come on in. They're being wait, stopped. AP Bren. The oh, minions have, oh my goodness. It's stressful to see. Oh! oh. You were saying. Oh. Oh. gets a kill on Lena. But yes, what's stressful? It was, uh, I believe it was SPS also. They struggled in the late game. Oh, wait they up! Struggle in the late game! Where was that from? Marco gets caught out by Stitch. I was on Wolf's story is yeah, they, they do struggle in the late game, but what? wait, 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 here we go. This Lord fight, this is an unprecedented situation for the ghouls. They have never had a game this good against AB Bren right now. The situation. Blink Perfect. gets hit with a final slash. Carbon slashing away at few. He's getting smothered oh. by four. Gets his immortality pop at the rest of the ghouls. Wail away at the Lord. An evolved Lord. Their oh, very no. first Lord. Can Nico oh. get it in? Yes, he does. Retribution is good. And now the Nether Realm saving Blink. They're going to get the pull.
pull onto Flap Easy. Not gonna even pop his immortality as the Philippine had on walked away. Stitch gets popped. Three defenders from the Ghouls. Four from AP Bren looking to crash out into their base. This might be it. All the waves are crashing in. Top, middle, and bottom. Oh, two seconds. No. Two seconds. Oh, two alert was Oh, they need the Lord. They need the Lord. There it is. Spawns down bottom. Mid lane inhibitor falls. I mean, they can clear this up, right? They can clear this up. If AP Brand just take their time with this, they should be able to whittle it down. They've got two waves on their side, and if they've smothered both, at the very least, the Burmese Bulls. Oh, no. Wait. No, Oakland is back, by the way. Is fine, right? Carmen's come back go. at 13. It's 10. The longest Flap. 20 seconds. Flap. Oh, gets to try to pull in. It does not happen. Lord gets taken down. Five members of AP Bren here applying pressure. Can the Burmese defend? Carbon is alive. Oh, here comes Carbon. Look at all the rifts. Look at all the damage. A divine judgment on the flap. He gets his immortality pop. And Carbon and Lena leaning hard on AP Bren. Carbon goes Whoa. down. Lena goes down. Stitch just waiting. Flap easy gets popped. Ogwin loses his immortality. Oh, this is an actual life bar oh, we're looking at, gentlemen. Game changer item, I love it. Twilight armor. There's a lot of big bursts coming up from Burmese, including the Brody damage. If you count the ghost bursters from Linda, that's also massive damage that you take out. Oh, that's going to be a game changer now for AP Bren. Speaking of which, here's another dance. This is uh, the uh, fifth lord of the game. 25 minutes scaled. No longer gonna get stronger. Flap easy gets pulled in. Forced oh. it out. That flicker gets hit with a divine judgment. Still alive though. Down to a tenth of his health as Kyle easy scores. Now Ogwin gets to use his ult. Full on combo coming in. Still alive. Forcing it out. Nico gets the kill. Nico gets popped by Marco though. And that's a one for one. Two for one now. As Few gets caught out in the back. Carbon goes. Two for two as well. Kyle easy finds sweet. Oh, again. What? And there's a pop. Kyle Deezy just going from target to target to target. And now it's just Lena oh. and Blink. Ooh. The winner tranche coming in. Flap Deezy still alive, gets pulled in. Final slash by the Filipino cannon as he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, Blink is the only one left. Can he defend? AP Brent coming in with the Lord. And they are going to take this series in a 2 0 sweep. History tends to repeat itself, but my god, with the new faces of the Burmese Bulls, they put up one hell of a defense up against AP Brand, but it still was not enough. AP Brand take the game 2-0. A showdown of mechanical skills that we saw. There's so many items sold on, so many items bought. A fraction of a second, the decision making, even the Nether Realm, the big ticket Nether Realm that we were looking for, pretty much on point that time. But the winter transition usages, the wind of natures, all those